Live from the bleeding edge of Austin, home of the new national breakup and nasty day. Now with fireworks, it's going to be a great night. The question is, will you make it to 912? And now with other 50 ways to leave your lover, here's Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. I cheered too early. I cheered too early. I felt it. I I uh, I, I ejaculated uh, joy. Uh, didn't ejaculation used to mean like a, a shout? Ejaculation? Wait, what are you Shakespeare? Like it, it, like it, 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 Brett knows. And what on, and lo, he ejaculated yeah, unto yeah, thee. No, like, 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 that, like you learned about nouns, shout. verbs, and ejaculations. I swear, I'm, 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 I'm not no, making this up. Stop yes. It. Anybody? You learned about ejaculations in school. Well, well, I mean, in the form of 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 shouting, anything that ended like a single word phrase, not a zam, not, not is an ejaculation. No, that's an onomatopoeia. No. Right? Is it any any word that just is that the sound? Like that that is describing the sound by being the sound. Okay, like, Mike, auga. Right, that's Michael Winslow stuff. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about <laughs> Second like second Michael like, Winslow reference. Like today. like 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 hop damn he ejaculated. Okay, that, that that's that's yeah. an ejaculation. Yeah. Am I wrong? But no, I mean. You're not wrong, Walter. Okay. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like, oh, yeah, actually, that would be an ejaculation. You're not we're wrong, Walter. You're an asshole. Well, he doesn't yell it. <laughs> I do. Because <laughs> I ejaculate all over the place. It's National and Nasty Day. Haven't yeah. you heard? Right. Are you just back from the Lewis Black School of Acting? Like, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now that you got me started, I'm upset about a bunch of different things. <laughs> On the way over here, I picked up... Some of this McConaughey's. And I said, do you have the McConaughey's? And he said, no, we don't. And I said, what's that over there? He's like, I don't know. And I was like, look at it. It says McConaughey's on it. He's like, and, 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 and riffing with it, the dude was like, uh, uh, oh, by the way, this is a real story. Yeah, Brian's not doing a, real a bit. Story. Brian, I, 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 Brian is literally just doing a real story. That, that, yeah, so go ahead. Uh, so I Reset think, it so people know what the okay, fuck you're talking so, about. So uh, for whatever reason, we think it's adorable that I, I assume this is a Matthew McConaughey branded IPA hazy something. Uh, in the world, in the world Somebody's of Somebody's making money on his name. In the world of independent brewing, right. there's a lot of loosey-goosey, like, let's just slap a phrase that you've known from somewhere else sure. and, 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 and put a thing on it. In this case, we've talked about this a few times before. Uh, this one comes from Twisted X, uh, Twisted X Brewing Company, who, who we would love to interview. Uh, but Oh, no, this is the official beer of Great Night. McConaughey's yeah. is the official Hazy beer IPA. Of, 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 of Great Night. It has now like been here for every week, and we like it. But what was funny was when I asked for it, the guy was, was adamant, like, no, 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 we don't have that. That's not a thing. And I'm like... Uh, What's that? And then, and then just, just uh, this is a guy 10, 15 years older than me without missing a beat. And again, this is, this is the same liquor store that you have always frequented. It's the one I uh, bumped into the, Alex at Jones. Alex Jones. Like, yep. like, so this is, this motherfucker don't need to serve shit. Right. He's already, he's serving the high end of Austin clientele. He says it's not there. <laughs> he says it's not there. I'm like, what's that? Not missing a beat as if suddenly I'm teleported into an episode of I Think You Should Leave. Yeah. He goes, he goes, uh, I don't know what that is. And I'm like, it says McConaughey's on it. He's like, uh, I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> it and just I, does and the bit. And then I yeah. hold it up and he continues for five more minutes. I'm like, nope. says McConaughey is right on it. And then and then finally it gets it's not until I get him to break when I'm like you know what happens if you peel this off? It's a Robert Earl Keen. And, he, and then he cuts me off because he knows it. He goes, oh, it is the honey ale. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, that was my day. How was yours? Uh, man, you know, we are uh, uh, we're rocking and rolling here at Great Night. We, I, I feel like this is a, this is a very important show. Because, it, uh, we're past because a month now. A, we're past a month. And B, this is the first time... That the adrenaline is kind of worn off. Uh, everybody that is just Bored. like flown in and and been a part of the show randomly. It's just us. Check, we actually we check actually time. Get, make sure it's after three forty five p.m. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. We we actually get to get a get some time to to explore the space and actually just do kind of a, a regular show as opposed to one that has fifty guests and a bunch of like musical stuff, which we, we always want to be a part of it. But I really like the idea that we can yeah, just kind of stretch out a yeah. little bit. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, so uh, I guess with that in mind, uh, 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 who wants to, uh, Brett, you want to bring us to our first topic? 
Sure. Brian's weird ass dream journal. Oh, fuck. Okay, so I've had weird sleep habits lately. Um, I go to bed earlier. Yeah. I tend to What's wake earlier? Uh, like eight thirty. What the fuck? People make fun of me because I go to bed at ten. Right. Well, I get into bed at eight. What are you uh, on the Today Show? <laughs> <laughs> I get into bed at eight thirty or nine o'clock, uh, and uh, mainly because like I'm really excited about listening to the audiobook. And and uh, I, I I don't have to wear earbuds or anything. I could just turn it on real loud and not yeah. get a rat's ass. Uh, and I always intend like this is gonna be great. I'm gonna sit here for like an hour and listen to my audio. <laughs> and, yeah. then, and then yeah. immediately out, yeah. right? Uh, uh, then I tend to wake up a little bit after midnight, uh, sneak downstairs, pour myself a really tall glass of milk. I don't know why, but I'm having like some kind of warm break. milk. No no no. Oh, that's gross. Uh, no no no. Cold milk. As a matter of fact, we keep. <laughs> We, we keep our milk in the freezer. I don't know, Brian. Would you like some warm milk? No, it's me, Artie, for okay. the first time on Great Night. It wouldn't be a bother, Brian, if oh, I no, could I'm just sorry, get you some sorry, warm Arfie, milk. No, no, I just need you to stay a little quiet, Artie. You, okay, You're going to wake the dog. All right, the dog, I, I she wasn't makes a lot doing of noise, anything. Which, no, 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 just, that's fine. No, she, I, so if, if we could just agree. Quiet. I don't want to wake All up. Right. Don't want to wake up the dog. Okay. Don't want to wake up the everybody. Quiet asleep. as a I'm church gonna, mouse. Quiet as a church mouse. Okay. 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 Just, okay. Get, Hold on. Uh, chippy let me get chippy some. Chippy let me get some ice grab, for gonna your grab. milk. I'm just going to put I, I, ice I in the oh, milk. Dear, dear, I put the ice in the milk for Brian. Get the milk and it's a really chilly opposition when it goes down to his tummy. Use our whisper voices. That's okay. I'm going now. I'm going. I was going to sleep in. Anyway, I've already I was told going you. to sleep anyway. I was going okay. to sleep anyway. Okay. okay. All right. So let me just pour this milk. <clears throat> Look. I'm closing my coffin. Oddfi sleeps in a coffin in Brian's attic. It's, it's part of Deep Lore. Please look it up. Arfie, it's not just the two of us. You're waking up the dog. That's fine. Was there something else you wanted? I was going to sleep. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. All right. I'm closing my casket. Good, good, good. good. I'm going to okay. finish pouring this milk. Glug. Uh, so I, 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 I drink milk. Drink milk. But, but, but one of the things about like being comfortable, because uh, it used to be I would wake up in the middle of the night and I would get like stuck in an anxiety spiral or something and think about yeah. like, oh my God, I'm going to die or whatever. Um, uh, uh, nowadays I just wake up, I'm like, well, this is fun. Let me just daydream for a bit. And at some point my daydreams slip into actual dreams, but, but my brain doesn't tell itself that like, hey, you're now no longer in control. And this is this weird is shit my, is going to happen. This is my thing where, like, I think you you have an extreme example of it, but uh, people that I'll euphemistically say as people when it's really just my wife Normies. that I'm talking about, uh, like, will always can be convinced that, like, oh, she's not going to sleep when she's, like, trying to take a nap. And it's like, no. Like, I walked by you. You were definitely asleep. The problem yeah. is, is that your brain... You just weren't thinking of anything. You weren't daydreaming of anything interesting. You were daydreaming of just being on the couch right. and you were asleep. But when you're like actually like kind of out, your your daydreams become these real weird lucid dreams. Which, 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 which is the weird part because when you're daydreaming as you fall asleep, you feel like, like, oh, that's an interesting thought. That's an interesting thought. And then you slip into actual dreaming. And then all of a sudden, like, there's a, a giant thunderhead so big and dark it blocks out the sun and it's darker than when you saw the eclipse. Yeah. And you're like, well, isn't that interesting? Nope. Roll it back. I don't like it. And then and then you do. And, yeah. and but but you're you're in a dream state. So uh is that lucid? So that is lucid dreaming? No, lucid dreaming is when you fully recognize your dreaming. So in, in my case, like I, I think I'm close to it because I perceive it as I'm still daydreaming. Yeah. Which is why I'm able to roll stuff back that I don't like or whatever. Yeah. It's only after I wake up that I realize. Oh crap! I was dream dreaming. You were dream dreaming, right? Yeah. But whereas lucid dreaming, I've only had like twice where I'm like, "Oh my god, I'm full on dreaming right now. Let me fly. Ooh, this is great." Oh, okay. Right. See, I've always felt that like the the content of my dreams are beyond my control, but I can hit skip. Yes. Like I I can say, "Nah, this sucks." Boo. Right. Right. Like, you you, you can say, "Nope, bullshit. Uh, yeah. This one sucks." Cut and it. Then, and then all the all the extras are just like, "Uh." Oh. Oh, and then they shuffle off and get paid in, you know, Dream World or whatever, and then the next ones come in. Okay, so I'm going to tell you... for Dream Scale. I'm going to tell you a real thing that I dream. 
Okay. Uh, one part is not a dream. Uh, mm. <laughs> hmm. Uh, pimple popping videos are popular. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just want okay. a wave of recoiling <laughs> All right. throughout the entire room. Pimple this... popping videos are popular. That is a real fact. And and try to take that from Unique me. Unique New York. Pimple <laughs> yeah, popping. Yeah. Pimple popping. Pimple videos popping are popular. Pimple popping videos are popular. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, and, and, and my wife, when I told her this, she did not want to hear any more words. That was the end of the conversation. And then I was just like, she's like, that's not true. Uh, and I'm like, tell that. No, like, that shit's on like TV. I was about right? to say, Doctor Pimple Popper, like on TV, right? And plus, yeah. on top of that, it's like maybe you could say that the algorithm pushes them, pushes pimple popping videos in front of yeah. people. <laughs> but but ain't nobody forced pimple them. popping people <laughs> pleasured by pimple popping videos. <laughs> That's a headline. Uh, but. Ain't nobody forced anybody to press that subscribe button. And these things have like two, three, four million no, views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Views. Subscribers. Yeah. Subscribers. There, like, there is like something cathartic, like in like the base of your spine that right. is satisfied if you are by pimple popping video. Right. And so I was dreaming about pimple popping videos. Okay. Uh and PPVs. And their popularity. Mm -hmm. Uh and at some point I was thinking about like. You know, the gross stuff that comes out. Yep. Think about the texture the of all that yep. stuff or whatever. And then I thought about how kids like to buy products that upset their parents. Oh, yeah. I, I once had a He-Man uh, castle that dumped slime all over the floor almost by design. <laughs> right. Like, and they would be like, put it on your carpet. Right. He-Man demands it. And then, then I started thinking about uh, 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 how the popularity and texture of Reese's peanut butter cups. <laughs> why would you? <laughs> why would you take? <laughs> this wasn't my why? dream. It's not my fault. I didn't come up with this on purpose. Uh, okay. So <laughs> wait, hold on. Pitch. That's... Just pitch the idea. Just pitch right, the idea. Right. Here's my pitch. Yeah. Uh, 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 the new Reese's. Uh, 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 butter popping craze. Ah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a cup shaped such that it's thick on the edges. Ah! <laughs> and, <laughs> filled with peanut butter. <laughs> and the kids peel it back, or, or maybe they don't peel it back. They peel they, it back! <laughs> no, no, no. They, they keep the wax paper around the sides and just in front of their parents, they Please, until that very thin layer of chocolate up top. Yes. Go. <laughs> and then they go. Tell me that's not a billion dollar idea. Brett, next topic. <laughs> God damn it. All right. uh, our next topic a is. It's a billion dollar idea. <laughs> a billion dollar idea. Epic bacon. Gilgamesh. What? It's random. I uh, I am compelled to read the following press release from, uh, I believe, the Federal Bureau of Investigations. Oh, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> Washington. Washington. Uh, actually, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Wait, it's me. Wait, oh, no, uh, hold on. Wait, yeah. I, want, I want to just real quick. Like, can, can I get a few takes on uh, 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 20s Bryce? I just need... <laughs> 20s well, newsy Bryce. But sure. before we move on, sine wave is right. There's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. All right, fuck you. <laughs> fuck both uh, of you. Incorrect. Fuck Actually both of wrong. you. Take your money and leave. <laughs> Take your money and leave. I, I, I wish I had my wallet on me. I'd throw money at you and I'd demand you left. Uh, <laughs> and then I'd do that to sign. I'd literally throw it at the TV in front of us and I'd demand that we boot him from the chat. Uh, but I don't have it, so I won't. So, all right. Uh, okay. 20s Bryce, uh, 20s please. Uh, uh, extra, extra, read all about it. The Federal Bureau of Investigation puts out press release. Okay, wait. Hold on. Just, I want one alt. Okay. I just need, now, now, now do a uh, uh, radio announcer, 20s Bryce. Ah, uh, I uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Also, uh, you have to have one hand over your, yeah. Oh, yeah. sure. And uh, as a matter of fact, maybe we'll bring you in. You can interrupt our broadcast. Like, uh, oh, yeah, no. Yeah, we're doing oh, our 20s version of Great Night. Oh, Edgar, I can't believe that we're so funny. I can't believe that either. I poop my pants. Uh, uh, over. What are you, French? We break into this, in, in, to this comedy program to give you this 
breaking news alert from government. <laughs> oh, did you hear that, Edgar? The government. Oh, we're off. We're, right, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we're just talking in the booth. I oh, don't yeah. know. No, this, no, this oh, is us. This is one of those interactive PBPSAs. Oh, okay. yeah, no, then, I'm, then, I'm, then I'm, I'm pulling out a cigarette. Can you believe this fucking Hoover? Oh, my God. These Winstons <laughs> are so smooth uh, like a cigarette should. Oh, <laughs> man. Uh, 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 three out of four dentists say that this is the best cigarette for my teeth and uh, lungs, which women, are one organ. Women should drink uh, uh, Slims. <laughs> women they should drink, drink the slims? Now that's not right. Edgar, I think you're having a stroke. <laughs> Sorry, oh, I, was, again. I was popping these Reese's. Oh, yeah. All right, Reese's Washington. 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 The U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of New York has ordered the forfeiture of a rare cuneiform tablet bearing a portion of the Epic of Gilgamesh, a Sumerian poem considered one of the world's oldest works of literature. Uh, wait, hold on. So... There is a, a tablet that the Federal Bureau of Investigation has seized, and they are right. turning it over to the proper authorities, or we're just stealing it? Uh, well, uh, let, me, let me continue on. Known as the Gilgamesh Dream Tablet. It, uh, oh, Jesus Christ, if it goes on to explain about Reese's pimples. <laughs> <laughs> it originated in the area of modern-day Iraq and entered the United States contrary to federal law. Does anybody know where I'm going with this? Does anybody no. know the uh, end no, of this? No, we, we, we got as far as uh, you went from Iraq to here. An international yeah. auction which house. Is, which is the opposite of what, how it normally works in America. <laughs> An international auction house later sold the tablet to Lobby Hobby Stores, Inc., a prominent arts and crafts retailer based in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, <sighs> for display uh, in the you, Museum of the Bible. <laughs> Wait, so, uh, sorry, uh, you said Lobby Hobby, but I think... Hobby, hobby, yeah, hobby Lobby. Hobby yeah, 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 ex yeah. ex oh. Lobby. Excuse me, Hobby Lobby is what I meant to say. Uh, yeah, so they... Uh, uh, do you guys remember this story from a few years ago? So they, no. Hobby Lobby bought the, one of the a piece Gilgamesh. Of Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, they this this happened. Which, which, by the way, uh, Gilgamesh has a bunch of uh, the same myths that uh, uh, would eventually find their way into the Old Testament, sure, including yeah. the Great Flood. And I'm gonna get those Smurfs. Stuff. Right, right. The Blue Man Group. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get yeah. Um, but Gilgamesh first time he, originally his catchphrase was "Go, go, Gilgamesh win," <laughs> and then he just won and everything. Uh, but uh, this was just kind of a, a re-up. Hey, guess what? You remember the story where Hobby Lobby bought a bunch of cuneiform? form? Well, they had to give it back. Um, oh. oh, wait, hold on. So so this so, is a thing. I, I, oh, I do yeah. not remember this. No. Yeah, uh, uh, Hobby Lobby got in trouble because they spent corporate money to buy artifact, rare artifacts like this from why, why the Middle East. Why would you? Well, because uh, business-wise, it, it doesn't... Because it belongs in a museum? I'm sorry, Indiana Bryce. Well, uh, it's going in a museum, the Museum of the Bible. Wait, what? Oh, there's a Bible museum? Oh, yeah. um, no, hold on. Pause. Mm. Because I'm mm. aware that Kentucky exists. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, there is like the official museum of the Bible. Uh, Curated by a brontosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... Uh, uh, I the brontosaurus uh, Bible. Uh, Hello. <laughs> Would anyway, you we, like to learn about the true Lord and Savior? We never ever went extinct. We're all, we've always been here. We're like the big boy of... Creatures. <laughs> We're big, the big boy. Big boy. Uh, yeah, there. I believe in in the District of Columbia, the Museum of the Bible uh, is where Hobby Lobby intended to display uh, these um, ancient. Um, oh, wait, 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 hold on. So, so they bought it and they wanted to make their own Bible museum in D.C. in which they would display like the proto story. That's like that's like that's like showing the first draft of Star Wars, but swearing that Star Wars is a unique and original story at the same time. That never had a first draft. I mean, I don't know. Hidden Fortress. Hidden Fortress. Thank you. you yeah, yeah. There we go. That's no. better parallel. Yes. Uh, Brett should be your co-host. Um, <laughs> I just, I just ascend. <laughs> I'm like Gilgamesh. Oh, no! Fred, find me a seat. <laughs> Um, I think the smuggling was the but was the problem here. Oh, so they smuggled it in. And, yeah, and and so it wasn't the fact that if they had had acquired it legally, then they would have been able to display it in their weird Bible museum. There, uh, my guess is there's probably not a 
legal way to buy these items. Sure, and um, that's why they did it the way they did it. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing that I can't get away from is that I'll bet you that Bobby Museum was just there so they could sell fucking yarn in the lobby. Like, this was all <laughs> just, like, like, a super, like, extravagant place so they oh, could sell here we the go. same lanyard material. Uh, quiz, quiz. How, lo how much does it cost for an adult to walk up to the Museum of the Bible and buy a ticket to the Museum of the Bible? Uh, $32.99, guaranteed. Ryan says 32 Oh, I think cheaper. I think it's, uh, uh, 420 <laughs> <laughs> It says 420 Brett, what do you think? I think it's, uh, $55. Swear to God, if it's 9-11, I'm quitting this show. 9-11, yeah. Uh, the closest, uh, I think would pieces of silver. silver. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think I think Brian is the closest. An adult walk-up ticket is twenty four ninety nine. Yeah, wow. just Damn. to the Bible yeah, Museum. Closer than no. A lot closer than four dollars. Nine eleven would have been closer. Ah, huh? uh, a phrase we've all said so often. <laughs> all right. uh, what's the next topic? Uh, all right, our next topic uh, is gonna be um, Taco Tuesday. Oh damn! Uh, so last week. We had Taco Tuesday. That's right, because there's a, a local sports bar that has really, really good tacos. Yeah. And I remember I made the mistake. And now we're right. I mean, you were a regular, but now we are regulars. Right. Like, like on, everyone on Tuesdays knows both specific, of us. Yeah. Right. And oh, so, well, no, Mondays usually. Uh, yeah, correct. Yeah. Uh, uh, but, uh, but, but last time, I think I, I was like, ah, oh, I remember I had the crispy and the soft, and I couldn't yeah. decide which one was better. I'll go too soft. And then and you went too crispy, and I was like, ah, oh, should it on crispy or whatever, yeah. right? Uh, crispy is the move. That's right. That's right. Well, dude walks up. Same dude that's always there, yeah. right? Uh, uh, he walks up, and I'm just, I'm just like, oh, my God, it's Taco Tuesday. I'm so excited. He was like, he was like yeah, right on. I was like, okay, I get, Bonnie doesn't understand how great the tacos are here. Yeah. So I can't decide. Should it be crispy? Should it be soft? Soft, crispy, yeah. crispy, soft. What should it be? And he goes, neither. I was like, what? He's, he's like, it's time for you to do the combo thing. And I was like, what? And so he did the thing where, you know, it's a soft taco and a or crispy taco and a soft taco. We both enjoyed it. It was really, really good. Uh, but before he leaves, I'm just like, uh, 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 dude, every time I see you, you're wearing like a, a Star Wars fan shirt. You really, uh, you want to talk about Grogu and his yellow lightsaber that's yeah. in the news and all that stuff. And he's like, I try not to spoil. I was like, oh, well, let's talk about the end of Mandalorian. We talked for a little bit and kind of fan out for a little bit. And then, uh, uh, and so he leaves and Bonnie says, um, uh, Bit thick, don't you think? I was like, what? He was like, your enthusiasm for tacos? And I was like, what about it? She's like, calling him out on the shirt? I was like, what are you talking about? And she goes, then she just looks down at my chest. <laughs> oh my God. And for, for, for and audio I listeners, he's literally wearing right now. A, a X Files parody, I want to believe shirt, but it said With it's a taco on instead there. of a UFO. And I, so, so you come in super not, hard I, on sci-fi and tacos and t-shirt of fandom. And realize and, that you are and, you are actually yes. just a parody of a human being. And body is literally embarrassed of me because it's just like, uh, okay, you're the taco guy from now on, I guess. <laughs> What's the next topic, Brad? <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, our last topic of the evening. Wait, is that right? Last topic. I don't think so. What is Brett watching? Oh, new segment. Yeah, new segment. So, so uh, uh, hopefully everybody uh, 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 understands Genuflex and appreciates uh, how awesome uh, Brett has been being our, our our new addition here. The voice of on, Great Night. The voice of Great Night. Oh, but also uh, it, it gives us the ability to do things that we have not done where now we can regularly just show videos that we've seen before and have somebody else explain them to the audience. That's right, because half of our audience is video, some of them are lives, uh, most of them tend to be audio. So what we need you to do is draw pictures to bring this scene alive yeah. to the best of your ability. Now, yes. part of that might be emotional, part of, my, part of it might be visual. At any time, Feel free to shout pause, and, and, and Bryce will pause the video, but your job is to, uh, much like the theater of the mind that was just created as I encouraged women to drink Virginia Slims, uh, <laughs> your, your job is to, is to paint a picture of, of this actual clip from, uh, where, uh, where does this come from? Uh, the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. So, last year then. Uh, well, uh, so... Uh, 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 
Wait. We'll fill you. <laughs> uh, and, and I'd just like to point out that I have not seen... Of course, we kept it from this. him. We yeah. explicitly kept it from okay. him. Okay. Right. So, but uh, 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 we're already just on the first frame here. Can you describe the first frame that we're looking at before we even the hit play? First frame right. seems to be uh, there's a chase camera behind. It looks like a fella on a skateboard that's hmm. uh, getting ready to rock. There's a guy a little bit further down that's kind of paying attention to him. Hmm. And uh, there's empty stands in the background in Tokyo. You're like the harshest grandpa ever. Yeah. You're a, a feller. All right, we're going to play about a, about a second here. All right. All right, he's going to take the drop in, going to do a – he's he's getting ready to do some sort of jump, maybe a, 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 a scraping of his skateboard along the rail. The old skate and scrape. We'll yep. see what happens. On that he takes the jump, and he uh, comes down. He does the little drag, and he lands. He seems to be a little bit off balance. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he recovers. That's good. He does oh! not recover. He does the up. <laughs> he does the jump. He comes down. He does and he oh, does the nut shot. Oh my he does the nut god! Shot. Ladies and gentlemen, he's done the nut shot on the rail. I mean, uh, 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 there are now know. screaming cats and people scratching their faces. Oh, he's just going for I, it. He's lost the skateboard. Oh, the humanity. I, 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 I know this is what is Brett watching, but I just the move where he. Hits uh. his nuts onto the railing. Uh. I can only describe as a wheelbarrow nut shot. Yes, like because he is belly button to the pavement. Yes, uh, when he he hits his nuts <laughs> and his butthole at probably the same time. I mean, like, also, also that is a bang bang. He's We're, got a jammed up taint right now. <laughs> oh, I know that. jammed up taint. <laughs> yes. Wait, worth this noting. Jammed up, that son. Be jammed. Worth noting both the oh. both the wheels and the balls hit various rails at the exact same yeah. moment. So if you listen, if we just do audio only, I think you can hear Santa Claus coming. <laughs> That's good. Oh. Oh. This poor fucker. Oh. Do we know his name so we can link him to this shame forever? It used to be the guy that did the, uh, the, the guy that did the, the, the ski jump, the eagle. Yeah. Now it's this guy. Wow. <laughs> Uh, that's 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 uh, horrifying. Yes, that, that guy. I feel really bad for that Frank. guy. Beans and Frank. That guy. Beans. White D. E. Eisenhower. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, nobody I knows. It. Can't known. believe it. Yeah. I would have never known. I come. Honest president. Uh, Is that uh, what we're deciding? Uh, he says uh, the original slogan was going to be like, I like Dwight D. Eisenhower, but he hit the nut shot midway through it. So as he was dictating, it was like, I, I don't know. My slogan should be, I like, I. And that was that. Oh my God! A uh, uh, Renegu in the chat saying he is a Peru's Angelo Caro Navarez, uh, which I'm glad that he comes from a culture where they won't let him uh, forget that for the rest of his life. Yes. Uh, <laughs> all right. What's next? Uh, okay, uh, we got one more topic here, and that one. Oop! There we go. It's bump. Stroke. 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 Uh, another weird news topic for you. This is from the New York Post. Uh, Dateline, New York. Uh, uh, but, 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 but before you continue, Bryce, there was a brief flash that I thought that maybe I was dreaming and you were about to stand up and cast a spell on each of us, giving us a brain hemorrhage. <laughs> stroke! 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 stroke. <laughs> and I'm I glad. smell burnt toes. <laughs> stroke! Yeah. Uh, we've got a headline here from the New York Post. Right-handed man almost... Masturbates to death. Medical case study finds. Okay, uh, why would they say right-handed man? I mean, I guess. Well, um, because uh, <clears throat> the act of masturbation. Um... What? No, 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 no. Oh, okay, let me put yeah. it this way. Um, when somebody stabs his wife and a restaurant person to death, hypothetically, they don't say which yeah. whether he's white. They oh, say see, whether or not he ran for two thousand yards yeah. in one season. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. it, he, uh, it is because he is unnamed. He is unnamed in this research, so that's how they distinct. He's a fifty-one-year-old right-handed man. Uh, great. So oh, you, so that, you, that, you that, have eliminated like on, on, on the lab file. It's just fifty-one right-hand man. Right. Yeah. Um, Thank God it's not Florida man. Ex yeah. 
uh, uh, reading here from the New York Post. One ex- he keeps on jerking off with his red right hand. Gong. <laughs> uh, one explosive <laughs> self love session went awry when after <laughs> climaxing. Sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, they okay. hire great. They hire poets over at the New York Post. Oh, it's the goddamn right. Are no, you no, kidding they're, me? They're, they're, yeah. they're, there to, they're there to entertain. There's a guy going. I got this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, after one explosive self love session went awry, uh, at when after climaxing, the serial stroker was struck down by thunderclap headaches and severe vomiting. Pause. Pause. <laughs> pause one second. I, I want to go back to what person they call out of what dark corner of the New York Post. Oh, and no, this like, is... This he is, grabs his, his scarf and throws it over like, his shoulder. Homie, homie. He pulls down now, his, now. his gradiated uh, sunglasses. He, he pulls down his uh, beret and uh, 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 works on his mustache. Now we are in my wheelhouse. Yes. Like, yeah. This is everybody <laughs> at the New York Post is is like... When that comes down the pike, they are punching each other in the face because now they get to write that article. And that, meanwhile, that is like, that is when you okay, go. So here's what I want to you're, imagine. You're swinging for the fence. I want to imagine they know who the uh, the auteur is who needs to write this headline and this yeah. article, and they all know it's going to be him. But everybody wants to make their mark as he's slow walking up to the office to get the story. And they're just yelling lines. Right, right. And and so uh, uh, um, Cyril uh, Stroker. Right, exactly. And so like the male the male kid is just like a uh, uh, stoke to stroke, boss. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like like cheering him on. Yeah. You know, like 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 giving out. I mean, like the chat room. Uh, <laughs> where, where I'm stealing all their lines. <laughs> uh, Clarence Carter's got nothing on this guy. <laughs> Uh, so wait, so so he almost died? Uh, he, uh, yeah, uh, uh, apparently they took a CT and confirmed that he had a stroke. Uh, that stroke? While stroking, a potentially fatal type of stroke, a subarachnoid hemorrhage sparked by ruptured blood vessels in the space surrounding the vein, the brain. Subarachnoid hemorrhage. What's the worst physical side effect you've gotten from jacking it? Spider powers. <laughs> <laughs> I had a subarachnoid <laughs> hemorrhage, yeah. and I was suddenly <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Jay Jonah James. <laughs> if you'd like to support this show, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash great night. That is where you can support the show. Uh, it has been easier and better than ever to get on board here. Uh, uh, every hour of our main show on Tuesdays the pre-show the show and the post show all goes out to you for free on our podcast feed and our uh, YouTube channel but if you want to get the exclusive uh, uh, not rebroadcast anywhere episode you gotta head on over to our patreon patreon.com slash great night and there have been some really 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 good ones recently uh, and let me just say this I don't want to jinx shit Uh-oh. but when we first started, we had the goal of yep. two thousand per episode. Oh no! Wait, what are you doing? And we're 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 getting back. Huh. We're, we are we are less than a hundred dollars away from from two hundred dollars in or two thousand an episode. That means monocles. Uh, so, uh, you're about to send me to the stroke unit. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> Brian might have superpowers by the end of the night uh, <laughs> if you go on over to Patreon.com/slash/GreatNet. And of course, thank you to everybody who watches us live on twitchtv slash Night attack. Hells yeah. Hey, Bryce, got a game for us? I do have a game. Uh, uh, I believe, oh, I, got, I don't remember who uh, inspired me to do this, but we've got a, uh, kind of a return to an old game. Uh, this is a game we call Olympian or Baseballer. Yay! Uh, return? Does that mean we've been doing this so long? <laughs> like, every, well, wait, also, there's only every two years we could do this. Uh, uh, and, and also, I just love the phrase baseballer. Baller. Yeah, yeah. certainly. Oh. certainly baseball a, a, men. A, baseball a, men. A phrase used by somebody who watches a lot of baseball. <laughs> I don't know what they call I know the game. I don't know what they call the people. I said baseball. They're a baller. And so <laughs> they, they're, they're on bases. Mm hmm. They're, they're afraid mm-hmm. of J. Jonah Jameson's coverage. Ah, I see. They're jerking it too much. Yes. Yep. Oh, okay, joking at that. Ball. Sometimes you knock one out of the park. And sometimes oh. it just falls on your foot. <laughs> sometimes sometimes <laughs> the, uh, the, they have foul balls. 
<laughs> All right, so this is a, a sequel to uh, a previous game from a few years ago, which was a uh, poly. It was it was it was stealing the country or stealing home Late. base. Yeah, three Late. strokes, yeah. you're out. Late base, <laughs> um, which was baseballers or politicians. But now that it's uh, now that we've got the 2020 Olympics going on right now, I mean, uh, when you know your parents are coming home, it's three strokes and you're out. Like. <laughs> You got to get that shit wrapped up. You're like, I need a home run, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to give you the name of an athlete, and you're going to have to tell me if they are an Olympian or a baseballer, if they <laughs> played kick, American baseball. Kicks open and you just shout, oh, error. <laughs> <laughs> Um, a couple of little things. All of the baseball names are from the... It from, mm -hmm. gets on the couch, and you're like, fielder's choice. <laughs> uh, you're like, RBI, more like runs busted in. Oh. Oh. No? Oh. I thought we talked about saving some of the good stuff for later in the video. But, hmm. We did. We literally had a bit that we shouldn't derail on the first question. Sorry. Go. So I'm going to give you uh, the name of an athlete. You tell me if they're an Olympian or a baseballer. The Olympians are not oh, wait, baseball on, players. Wait, wait, wait. Before, before we get into the rest of the rules, yeah. uh, consequence. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. What is the consequence? Uh, we have a uh, – well, let's go to our Brett. consequence yes. are. Uh, fellas, the consequences are – you know, I'm going to make it a secret. What? what? I'm gonna make it a secret. Do that. A secret. We're supposed to know what the what 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 the consequences are. I am the consequence master, <laughs> okay. and I've decided that it's gonna be. A secret. So we don't know. We don't know what it is. This is this is that moment Great where bit. where somebody kicks in the door and says, "Power is not granted; it is assumed." Yes. <laughs> all right, uh, all right. Uh, Bryce. I apologize for cutting you off. Okay. Go ahead. So, that was right. stupid. The rest of the rest of the rules: the Olympians are not baseball players. Baseball is a making a special appearance this year, but is not baseball Olympians. And the baseballers are from North America. Here's your first name. Correct Mundo. Yeah. That's Wait, not it. his name is Correct Mundo. No, that's not it. I hit the wrong <laughs> button. That I just it's I I. I He's that dude who I got his nuts uh, wrecked on yeah. the on the Correct skateboard. The Mundo. <laughs> they speak English in what? Your first name is <laughs> Werner Cock. God damn it. Werner yeah. Cock. We'll start with uh, Brian on this one. We should have saved all those jerk off jokes for Werner Cock. Yeah. We really blew our load too early. Ah. Uh, Werner Cock. Uh, would you like I to spell it? I, 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 uh, you, uh, you probably have a good Werner Herzog impression. I don't. Um, Some might say <laughs> that if you want to have a Werner Herzog impression, you must you just say things very slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, that's okay. Uh, that's definitely an Olympian. Brian says it's definitely an Olympian. Justin. Uh, oh, Werner Cox an Olympian, man. Yeah, he, he, yeah. He's, what sport he's, does he's, Werner Cox play? He's yeah. cocking it up. Oh, he's a uh, uh, he's Bad definitely a a a, a kayaker, a, a a a rapid runner, a man who is there to. He's in the kayak. We saw it at backspin. They were in the kayaks and they were like yeah. going through. It was like kind of like uh, you were uh, like, oh my god, that's Werner Cox. I hope that's a trivia question on tomorrow night's great night. Yeah, and I was like, well, no, like I that'll said ever that happen. Silently in my own like, because I wanted to keep that, that happens. Yeah. I'll wear a taco shirt on Taco <laughs> Tuesday and embarrass myself in front of my missus. How clandestine! And yeah. the backspin guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you both have said Olympian. Your answer of Olympian is. Correct the mundo. Ah! Correct For a bonus point, can you tell me either what country or sport Werner Koch Werner plays? Werner Koch is. Where's Werner Koch from? Austria. Uh, I think it's from Germany. Uh, your answers are... That's incorrect. Mm. And you want to, yeah. Uh, 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 by the way, when you start a sentence with your answers are. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Can't get bogged down. Can't get bogged down. Can't get bogged down. All right. All right. Uh, yes. Werner, Werner Koch is a South African rugby player. Uh, They're the Germans uh, of Africa. Uh, yeah, that's way truer than. <laughs> yeah, right? Probably not, has uh, any right to me. Not co signing that one. All right. Round <laughs> it. <laughs> Justin, we're, we're starting with you, Justin. Mock. The name is. Not a walk in the park, Mark. Boots Poffenberger. Diplomatic immunity. Um, sorry, say it again. Boots Poffenberger. Boots Poffenberger. Boots Poffenberger is a 
baseball player, baseball player. Hey, bada 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 bada, sewing a boots to the moon. Uh, I'm gonna say he's a baseball player only because he's a bass player and he's the one playing on Groove is in the Heart. And then Q tip raps. Nah, See, when you do, the when other you, thing. When, when you do the baby's day there. out shit, yeah. like you can't actually show off doing it. You <laughs> have to be accidentally getting these, like, like, uh, like making it, doing it, especially a show, something or something in your groove, you see. And <laughs> I'm Bootsy Collins, and that's what I be. I'm a bass baller, I play bass. Wait, you're saying that's the only reference you know for Bootsy Collins is that he played bass on Groove is in the Heart? Right. <clears throat> I also oh. wear sunglasses like stars. <laughs> like stars. Now, now you know everything we've I know never, about Bootsy Collins. We've never Collins. been whiter. We've never been whiter. Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> Your answer to baseball is... Correct, yes! Amanda. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> For a bonus point, and <laughs> do you remember that moment that Bootsy Collins was playing the flute? Oh yeah, and he was going do do do. Uh, for a bonus point, can you name what team <laughs> Boots Poffenberger played for? Bonus Bo point. Boots Poffenberger played for the uh, 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 Pittsburgh uh, 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 River Rats. Nah, it was the Padres. I, uh, both of you are incorrect. He doesn't give a shit. He he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> I, we've got He's to go. Right I, over the note. I have to go <laughs> faster because y'all are going slower. He <laughs> Compensate. Like, we're ready. Okay, here we go. Ready. And you'll no, no, no. always be. I don't play the always be a loser line. It, hey, I need old, a old, thing with old, real buttons. You, you got you got some Beethoven fingers <laughs> over there on the <laughs> goddamn. Uh... I need a thing with real buttons so I stop touching everything. Round three, Steel Johnson. <laughs> wow, Steel Johnson, Brian. I, be, I, I feel like I had this T-shirt in middle school. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Steel Johnson. I can spell that if you'd like. Old Big Johnson, if I recall correctly, yeah. was a king of track and field. He was an Olympian, to be sure. An well, no, because we're doing current Olympians, right? Yes. No. Oh, no. All time Olympians? All time yes. Olympians. Oh, this is bullshit. <laughs> right? Brian has said <laughs> Olympian. Steel Johnson. Steel Johnson. Are you just taunting me with Bootsy Collins? The guy from Groove is in the Heart? He's the only one who can make a flute sound come out of a bass. <laughs> Justin Steel Johnson. I just really wanted to keep going. <laughs> um, Steel Johnson, uh, you said baseball, Brian? I, I'm I, going to say Olympian. <laughs> Your answers of Olympian Fine. are. Hey. Correct. Hey, we did it. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Senator, Senator, Doctor, Doctor. <laughs> uh, for a bonus point, very quickly, what uh, what sport or country is Steel Johnson hail from or for? Uh, uh, USA. Uh, 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 no, no, no. USA. Norway. USA. Norway. Norway. USA. Norway. Uh, champion of biathlon. One of you. Is correct. That person is Justin Robert. Yeah, ah, his America's the best. A, America's the best. Should have gone. Dick's big tits. America's the best. Uh, that is uh, uh his diver. He's a diver <laughs> for the is USA. Is that new? Did you just write that? <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's the new national anthem. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, uh, after three rounds and a new national anthem, uh, let's. <laughs> that's it, everybody. When they get their gold medals, that's what they're gonna be having their hands over their hearts too. Uh, so uh... America's the best. America's <laughs> the, the best. best. Hard dicks, big tits. America's the best. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then you spike a Sumerian tablet from Hobby Lobby. Bah! <laughs> I want to point out for the home audience that one of our friends just walked in and that was the moment that he just <laughs> saw where we're at in the show. <laughs> Brett, after three rounds, what is our score? Well, we've got Justin with four points. What? Brian has three. Ooh. Okay. All right. If you had three dicks, you wouldn't be all boohooing about 
<laughs> but if I could have had four, but if I could have had four, you very fun, you all of a sudden, hooray. You have the same thing you always had and do it in your pocket just in case. All right, we're moving on. You could just sit there and whenever you would not know the answer to any question because no matter what somebody asks, you just shrug a lot. Yeah. And then you have to shrug. Imagine you had two extra dicks in your pocket and like when you were at dinner, you know, like you have that one person who's like, like, oh, no, I, I, I got money. And then they have like the big roll with like hundred dollar bills on the end. But you're like, oh, no, no, no. I got the check. I just got to get this shit out of my pocket. And you're just putting two dicks on the table <laughs> along with your cell phone and keys. Wait, that, that, oh, here's my wallet. Yeah. That would be rad, though. And then one of the dicks just looks up and winks at you. <laughs> like, 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 like you're doing that thing where it's like you trick someone and looking at your nuts. You're like, oh, did you lose this? Only yeah. you're like, oh, did you lose this? And so your dick, you're like, no, just kidding. Here's all my money. Oh, it's another it's dick. Another <laughs> dick. Yeah, right? <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right, we're going to move on to double points now. All the points are doubled. Isn't Good. that so fun? Like oh they do God. at the Olympics. Like, like Justin's <laughs> dicks. <laughs> Or they do with Justin's dicks at the Olympics. Exactly correct, Brian and Justin. Uh, round four. We're going to start with Brian on this one. Brian, ready, I'd ready. love for you to tell me about Boof Bonser. Oh, that's an Olympic Boof. hero. Boof. Boof Bonser. Do you remember where you were? My grandpappy once asked me, do you remember where you were when Boof Bonser won? I was like, I'm not sure he won, granddaddy. And he said, he won in my heart. And I said... <laughs> Won what? Was it a baseball game or the Olympics? And he said, I forget. Uh, so I'm going to go with Olympian. All right, Brian is going with Olympian. Justin Boof Bonser. Boof Bonser was a baseball Basket. player. A baseballer, as they say in the industry. <laughs> Boof Bonser, baseballer. Right down. That's what was on his business card. He Boof. says, he, he was like, he was like, uh, I see there's a dead body officer. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> what is, why is there a dead body? You can always this was after retirement. This was after retirement when you he was a freelance on medical me, investigator. And he hands over a card and he looks yeah. at it. It just says boop baseballer. baseballer. No, I thought you were a medical examiner. He's like, He's like I need to get new cards. <laughs> The phone number is still good, though. The phone number is Don't good. Don't do the yeah. email, though. In fact, give me a pen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I'll cross off the facts. I haven't had that since 81. <laughs> All right. You guys have finally given separate answers. Uh, <laughs> Justin, your answer of baseballer is... Oh, God damn it. Like that. Correct. Oh, Boof Bonser. Uh, uh, hey, baby. Was a player oh, for these dicks out of the park. <laughs> so many dicks, I just throw them out of my pocket. You look like you're, over chop the fence. you're chopping uh, an hey, axe. Uh, Boof, look, you're doing great. It's me, your coach. Uh, we think it's great. Yeah. <laughs> this is a flashback. Uh, uh, yeah. First of all, those dicks, anyway, those dicks that you're hitting out of the park. You think this World War One thing's gonna get bad? <laughs> uh, this is how we. This is how we note that it's in the past. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, first of all, they those couldn't dicks, call it World War One. You're just throwing the, yeah. the bats out of the stadium. Sure. Uh, is that not cool? No, you should be hitting the balls. Oh, the balls not go. the dicks. No, yes, correct. Exactly. Gotcha. Uh, 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 you ever thought about trying out for the Olympics? They're starting them next year. What? And then sure. big zoom in. and, and it's He's like, one. I got to get a fax. Now it's that that Sabado Gigante. Sabado <laughs> Gigante. <laughs> All right. Uh, what? <laughs> Justin, for an extra uh, two points, what uh, team did Boof Bonser play for? Boof Bonser, legendary player for the uh, 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 Milwaukee racist. <laughs> racist. <I, Yes. laughs> the Milwaukee racist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that to work. Yeah. That, would be, that would be like I'm like a, a, a squirrel throwing sand in the gears. Oh, no, like I just said the word racist right. and it broke. Uh, that's wrong, by the way. I don't know. Oh, did you, did you, did you, always be win some and lose some. I don't know if we needed the whole thing about it, but that's not right. The Milwaukee races. It's the, it's the A's. He played for the A's. The A's. Oh, the A's. Oh, A's. 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 Mm. Boof. I, I apologize for the Bonser family. Sorry, Boofs. I mean, whatever. Oh. I mean, that was that was back in when women were drinking cigarettes. <laughs> Another picture of cigarettes, Marty. All right, uh, this is our second to last question. Here we go. We're going to start with Justin on this one. The name I'd like you to tell me about is Beer. 
just the one word? Yeah. Beer. Beer. Was beer an Olympian or a baseballer? That's right. That's what you're asking. That's my, that's my question, my man. Would you, I, I can you spell, spell it. it. How it's spelled? Yeah, sure. Uh, how many employees? Uh, uh, beer. B E E R. Wow. God damn it. <laughs> Son of a whore. Uh, beer was an Olympian. Justin says an Olympian. Brian, beer. He really only, I guess Pele only had one name. A lot of the soccer players only have one name. Yeah, but they had two legs. Goddamn right. <laughs> you and got five dicks. Three dicks. <laughs> now five. Oh. Now we're just naming numbers. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say Olympian. This sounds very international. He's going to say an Olympian. You both said Olympian, and both of your answers are... And you'll always be a loser. There's a one-name baseball player? In that's, North America, uh, whose that, name was Beer. That's right. For um, I, It's the only name in beer, Budweiser, the king of beers. Yeah. Sponsor of Great Night. We'd like to thank our friends over at the Anheuser-Busch Corporation for bringing you Great Night with the only name in beer. When you're thinking about the cool Rockies, go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. Because that's where shit beer is made. Yeah, why don't you Only hurl? good beer is made in St. Louis, Missouri. Oh, what's where that? Where the Anheuser-Busch Corporation has seen fit to pay us money. Yeah, the Milwaukee racists up there in Milwaukee uh, at the Miller Corporation. Get they're fucked. They're throwing dicks out of the park. Yeah. <laughs> Not keeping them in the bark in the way that Anheuser-Busch is. That's why every Anheuser-Busch beer is filtered with three dicks at least. <laughs> That's a three-dick promise. Uh, uh, Clydesdales, tell them. <laughs> dicks belong in our bush and balls belong out of the park. And that's a uh, word. Promise. <laughs> that's a word, colon, promise. That's a word, promise. <laughs> word, promise. <laughs> it's me, Ted but why Ted, Ted Bush Ted Bush and dicks Ted, Ted Bush um uh yes uh, both of you were incorrect uh, uh beer was a uh, beer was it a is better if we waited until later yeah I don't know why you why LeVar Burton got the gig because <laughs> Bryce would be so much better yeah. uh yes both of you uh, are incorrect both yeah. of you are incorrect beer was a uh pitcher for uh a Lancaster whoa, in whoa, 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 whoa. 1910 You're me it was a beer pitcher <laughs> yes that's right <laughs> okay for one year in 1910 for Lancaster. So, no points on that one, but it is our final round. That sounds like someone filling out a form wrong. Yeah, it would have been. <laughs> they had a lot of forms back in 1910. Out of the park. <laughs> How many points for this one? Uh, uh, well, let's. Well, I need to know what the score is. Brett, what is the score <laughs> right now? Well, uh, for Justin, he has six dicks. Ooh. And Brian <laughs> has three dicks. Only three dicks. And he was I mean, so proud of it, too. It's not a contest. I'm, <laughs> you I'm made it a contest. Yes, it, it yeah. literally is a contest. <laughs> it's not, yeah. It's also, not, oh, shit. I just remember there's stakes. <laughs> and there's we don't even know. There are secret I stakes. even came up with them. Oh, we're going to get there. I don't uh, think he did anything. Whatever. <laughs> we haven't come to the climax yet. We are at the climax. Let's see. Uh, all right, our final round. Okay, so it is six By to way, three. I, for love, I, I mean, like, if you're only listening on audio, we have this screen behind us where all of the bits show up. Mm. <laughs> and every once in a while, there are just amazing pieces of visual comedy. As uh, Brett sultrily says, uh, we're at the climax. Out of the corner of my eye, one eggplant emoji. <laughs> 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 just, just pops up and just out, just floats winks up, then, to the and audience, then parachutes and, then, down. and then floats down. Amazing. Oh. All right. Uh, all right. So uh, our final round is for four points. Four points. Wow, look four at that. Points. So I believe it's still anybody's game. Yes. Uh, now I am going to give you the name, that name that we're looking for in the final round. And Brian, because you're uh, in... I'm, I'm, I'm... Uh, I think Justin has to go first because he's in the lead with the way this type of game works. Uh, okay. Yes. Bro brother, can you spare some dicks? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, don't forget, we'll also have bonus points. So if you, if. Uh... Brother, can you spare <laughs> some dicks? <laughs> Cradle me with foreskin eyes. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, I've never regretted more feeding into that one. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, this four point round, the name is Jack Sock. Looking for Jack. Remember all those Jack off jokes we made in the very <laughs> beginning? And Bryce was like, I swear to God, stop wasting all oh, the like things. we're gonna run out. <laughs> like it's my fifth time today. <laughs> Cause I'm a 51 year old right hander. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say I got miles to go before I stroke. <laughs> um uh yeah, so we're uh, Jack, I have miles Jack to go stock. before I skeet. God damn it, that's what it is. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. 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 Yes. 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 Come on. All right. Uh, <laughs> right. No, we're relishing it anymore. We're relishing yeah. it anymore. <laughs> Miles to go before I skeet. <laughs> Look, man, sometimes the muse just looks at your three dicks and says yes to one of them. And says, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jack Dick. <laughs> She said Jack Sock. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's Jack Sock. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies to Mr. Sock. Someone, yeah. Someone's uh, single. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. By the way, note to self. Yes. Never do a show on April 1st. <laughs> because I guarantee you not one of the questions will be real. All right. Jack Sock. Jack Sock, Justin. Jack, Jack Sock. Jack Sock sounds like a big, strong American Baseballer. Hey, bada bada, swing. Yeah, and he loves it when the audience shouts, You suck. You suck. <laughs> Why would you suck. Because that? that's his name. Like, you're suck? Yeah. <laughs> you're suck. You're, you're suck. Yeah. Yeah. You suck. Uh, we know we cavemen audience. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> are, they all, are they all Frank? We don't understand. <laughs> Uh, verbs, you I think. Suck. Yes, you yes, suck. Yes, exactly. Be proud. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll just say, fireworks night never went over well. <laughs> God angry. <laughs> uh, I I buy cores instead. <laughs> uh, I wish I was in racist Milwaukee. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just the name of the team, but uh, <clears throat> all right, Brian Jacksock. Gotta be, it's, it's gotta be a, a baseball player. You say he's gotta be a baseball player. You said Olympian, right? No. God damn it, uh, he's an Olympian. No, stop it. He's Gilgamesh. God damn it, don't Gilgamesh me, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> don't Gilgamesh a Gilgamesh. <laughs> um, I, I, yeah, I mean, if you want to say Olympian, I'll say whatever the opposite of Justin said. Which would be. <laughs> Racist <laughs> Milwaukee. <laughs> Got a big one. Uh, Got a one. Timekeeper. Baseball player. Baseball player. Baseball player. All I'll right. get him on the team. I'm gonna get him on the team. You both said baseball player, and you both are. Oh. <laughs> Incorrect. Incorrect. Uh, no, we were looking for an Olympian. Oh. That's right, Jack Saka. Mm. There uh, he is. Uh, won, what do you, oh, he played tennis. He's a tennis player. He won uh, the Grand Slam sometimes. Oh, <laughs> I'll bet he did. From Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> that old cackalacky. Okay. Uh, so, Brett, uh, what what is their final score? Well, Bryce, we have Justin with a total of six points. Woo. Uh, Brian. You I mean, at this point, group. you look like my dog with all the just just in rows. You got dicks flopping out of your chest, yep. like your yep. nipples are. Oh. You're weird. Like I'm not weird. It looks like three teats. is the perfect number of dicks to have. Yes. I'm just saying. With your tri dicks, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because I can balance on them. That's, that's all right. you need to balance. Three anything three more dicks. is just Magic like your number. Your... <laughs> oh, Brian had three dicks for <laughs> some reason. That makes three. <laughs> three <laughs> dicks uh, for you and me. Okay. Right. All right. Uh, thank you to uh, uh, everyone who um, put up with the segment of the show. If you've got a game idea you'd like to send in, greatnightpod right at gmail.com. A gaggle of dicks is three. Is the email address. <laughs> greatnightpod, P-O-D, at gmail.com. Right. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Bryce, I thought it's time. Uh, uh, is it time? I'm told that there is punishment. It is time. And I believe our, our I, loser I, I is Brian. I had that goddamn dog kennel collar thing last week, which is a real son of a bitch. I thought I'd won a game without, uh -huh. or lost the game without consequences. Yeah. Now it's time oh, for you yeah, back in the barrel. Old mystery man over here, Mysterio, why don't you go ahead and give us uh, what it is? <laughs> All right, what is the official Sorry. punishment? I was enjoying my voice there for a second. Uh, the stakes are the loser must, <laughs> must dust golden legendary card and hearthstone of the winner's choice. God damn it. So wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. Well, but no, 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 no. Say that again. Say that again. Say that again. The loser uh -huh. must dust golden legendary card. Now, how special are those cards? They're very, they're legend. Wait for it. Dairy. dairy okay. Yeah. I can't have dairy. <laughs> You're lactose intolerant. <laughs> uh, in Hearthstone of the winners, of the winners, okay, okay, who all right, would be all right, all right, all right, Justin. No, I, I, I just wanted to make sure that I was hearing these words right because uh, uh, Bryce or, or Brett could give a living shit about Hearthstone. So I have no Not idea three. how this even got into the hopper of possible consequences, but this is for real. This is for real. This has to happen right now. So, Brian, you are willing to do this. I'm opening up my collection right now. My collection is it real. So here, you set it up so I can just search through only golden legendaries. If you've never played Arstem before, uh, golden legendaries are either your favorite cards that you have uh, uh, made sure that they were gold. They're great cards that you have made sure they are 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 fancy so yes. you can play them all the time and feel good about it they have special animations and shit or they are the rarest finds you can you can get when you're when you're getting open your packs and so it's like when you get a golden legendary they do a big animation for it and the guy goes wah golden legendary and they're they're in i mean the gold part is just uh vanity right that's just like a nicer version of yes. the regular if by card. vanity you mean it doubles the fucking cost to make them yes so yes. so that means it doubles the the pain i'm feeling Oof. uh I, I, okay I, uh, when you're dusting uh, you'll have to show the screen because i don't think i can spectate you doing that but uh, uh yeah okay so uh well, we've got a go camera for crafting it. here um there we go show only golden cards okay, I, I, i'm gonna keep talking while you while you figure it's, this it's, out it's, because it's I, set just uh, I, all right are you ready uh, are you ready for me to do it yeah so here's the part where uh that's not gonna be in demon hunter i'm going to paladin yeah sure. go no 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 fuck yeah so okay okay i was i was deeply hoping that so you Justin didn't think you'd get the real one straight for the fucking ar archetype that i love the most i have the most golden fucking cards in paladin, paladin god damn it um, how about, how, about, how about a little uh, golden Tyrion uh, Ford ring? No, 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 fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. How about, about oh. Uh, uh, Tyrion. Uh, Tyrion Ford ring is extra special because after he dies, you get a 4-2 four, uh, four sword, and he also comes with Divine Shield. Uh, he's uh, one, a oh, very... No, 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 sorry. That's Corset. That's Corset. Corset. Oh. You, can't, you can't disenchant it. <laughs> Except when he does, or when, she, when, she, when he does, when she does it, a fucking the bits show up. When I do it, everybody just gets annoyed. You, you, you just get a legendary just shout nerds in the chats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, you I cannot dust that because it's a corset card. Oh no. Uh, ooh, 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 Tyrion, what's up? It's Tyrion. He's a Lannister. You can't. Is there anything? Can you sort by um like cost? Can you sort by like yes, how I'm damaging it that. would be to He's trying to inflict maximum pain. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> Okay, this episode brought to you by Misery. Why don't you tell us about Patreon? Jack Socks. Or, uh... Uh, uh, when, when you want to come, oh. make sure to use Jack Socks. They're socks for your baseball. You know what? Stuff. I believed you, too. I was yeah. like, oh, Jack Socks. Is that like a new... That's a new startup. That's a new box <laughs> company. It's a new, <laughs> it's a new <laughs> delivery box. Jimmy and his friend Jam uh, hated <laughs> socks. Two, two best friends <laughs> out of a garage. Great. Decided to... that. They jerk it off. Needed to be better, <laughs> so but the invented, socks are so they scratchy. Jack shot socks. Jack shocks. <laughs> Jack shocks. Right. Right. Now it's you've heard of Jock. What was it? You've heard. Of, uh, I don't even. If remember you've ever come at a sock. Imagine if it also said something uh, inappropriate on it. Ooh, like, uh, that a boy. I don't know. Give Give <laughs> me an example. Boy. 
<laughs> that a boy. That a boy. Like, oh like, my mother, uh, that a boy. Just, just like Mama <laughs> used to make. Yeah, right. It's like it's like uh, if you if you think you came hard in your uh, uh, 50 50 poly cotton blend, wait until <laughs> written upon it is Mama approves. <laughs> the shame you'll feel will be palpable. Made out of a hundred percent modal cotton. I don't know if you have golden cotton. legendaries that I can. Oh, uh, are you what? Uh, uh, Brian for, is. For, for all I know, he's actually dusting all of my golden. No, legendaries. I no, uh, I, I I cannot find a single golden. Le find a single golden legendary, and I will dust it. Uh, <laughs> a, a dustable golden legendary. Oh yeah, you know what? Now that I think about it, I have definitely picked my favorites when it comes to goldens, <laughs> and I and I've just got to share. This is how the bit d d d collapses. Yeah, yeah, it's collapsed. <laughs> I didn't think about this, uh, and I was worried because I didn't have Hearthstone installed on this fucking computer, but we don't even uh, yeah, uh, I got I got a rare. You, you know, I got a go, uh, golden rare. Uh, Justin, going, find a card that's gonna rares, hurt. Just rares. find a card that's gonna hurt. Molten us. giant, get fucked. Ooh. All right, no, Nate, you want to be a dickhead. You want to be a dickhead. You want to be a dickhead. Show it. Go. Show it. I'm going back to standard, and I'm going back to I'm going back to paladin. No, don't, don't, don't. You're messing with my paladin. I think we have to. You're out of you're out of candidates. Yeah, number one. Uh, right, right, right. All right, just announce in detail I what you're doing. fucking sold your goddamn bit. <laughs> no. God damn it. Uh, what are you destroying? Uh, what are you destroying? Guardian of Kings can't be destroyed. Oh, thank God. Okay, good. How about Stand Against Darkness? Summon five one one hand recruits can't be disenchanted. God damn it. Yeah. Uh, this is what happens when you have nothing to lose. You can't lose anything. <laughs> That was, that's what Jack Sock taught me. He's like, my name's Jack Sock. What are we going to do? License myself to a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. I'll, These, I'll, I'll be right back. I, right, I just sold my company for a million dollars. These two best friends have the best <laughs> ideas. Hi, I'm Jack Sock. I love modal cotton, and I hate my dick being scratchy. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. How many? How much are you destroying? I'm not destroying anything. I can't find shit that I can destroy that would make sense to. All right, how about uh, a, <laughs> a plagued proto Drake? That is now uh, 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 shredded. God Fuck damn you! It. Uh, I hope shit, you, you never. Did. Can, yeah. can you show? Can we? Can we see? Uh, is there, yeah, is there proof, right. of, well, what, proof of what, death? What you can see is <clears throat> it's now. It's the, gone. The, it's, it's gone. gone. It's Look, gone. Uh, uh, trust me. If we were dusting decent cards, I'd show it. <laughs> <laughs> see, you should have got rid of my Stormwind champion. That would have. But can you? Uh, well, uh, is it a core thing? <laughs> all right. No, it's it's a regular it's a one. Core thing. Oh, you can't yeah. Yeah. Wow, it's actually hard to get rid of good cards. Look at that. All right. Uh, uh, good punishment! Good punishment! Good punishment! Good punishment! Good punishment. Good punishment. Uh, 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 by the way, this is particularly significant because it's the end of the month, which is the time that if you do play a Hearthstone, it's like, all right, put up or shut up. Yeah. Are you serious about making legend? Yeah. And uh, I, 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 I actually, I knew the punishment would be Hearthstone themed, so I, I, I I'm like, I'm like at rank three, so I'm only like no. six games away from no, like. You're not. You're not. You're not thinking. I'm not that good? No, no, no. You're not thinking what I think you're thinking. Wait, what, what do you mean? What should do right now on the stream? Well, I mean, we already busted. We already broke the seal on Hearthstone. Like we talked about Hearthstone. People know now that we play Hearthstone a lot and we yeah. talk about Hearthstone. Oh, my God. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Well, I thought you were thinking what you were thinking, but now apparently you're thinking what I'm thinking, which is what you were thinking. I should go... Play to the bar. with three dicks. <laughs> <laughs> I should three leave and play at the bar by myself. Uh, 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 no, no, yes, no. and then we both just leave <laughs> yeah. and nobody's on stage. Uh, no, no, no. no. Uh, 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 we're going to wrap things up doing a classic bit that, man, we ain't done in, in years. Uh, we're going to do full-on relationship advice. We're going to yeah. bring back from the dead the world's only relationship advice and Hearthstone Live Play Podcast, uh, Hearth and Oats. Hearth and Oats! If you, if, uh, if you would like to call in for some advice from uh, both Hearth and or Oats, I suppose, uh, we are in our Discord. We have a uh, stage channel there called Advice. Uh, if you join the audience, if you've got advice uh, that you'd like to get from us, use yeah. the Raise Your Hand feature. We'll add you in. And uh, you'll be on the call with everybody. Okay. Uh, so, Tro Troll Dan is already saying it's still a great night. <laughs> so, so, so by the way, Brian will be playing. He is the one that is closest to Legend, and we are going to be taking your advice. And so I'll, I'll, be, I'll be talking to you for advice, and Brian will be adding in uh, while he does legitimately try to get to Legend here. 
in Hearthstone. Uh, 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 I, I'm, I'm, I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it, man. I uh, think this is going to definitely happen. Bryce, yes. producer extraordinary, do we have any callers lined up? <clears throat> uh, we do have a caller. In fact, I'm going to invite up uh, B. Coford. B. Coford is going to... Uh, is welcome to come up on stage and uh, 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 talk to the folks about uh, the advice that they would like. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, B. Coford, what's uh, what, what's popping, fam? Yeah. Oh, I think he needs to accept the invite. Okay. Yeah. You have to request it, and then you have to... That's advice. Oh, you have right. to accept the invite. Hey, we are yes. live with B. Coford. B. Coford. Has what's up, B? Hey, B. Coford here. Uh, what's been up? Been since the beginning. I suppose I'm technically a first-time caller at this point. Okay. Uh, wow. Uh, Holy cow. What, Good to what, meet you. What, 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 is yeah. your, what is your advice, man? We're, we're giving uh, legit I, fucking I, advice. I so don't problem. come in here with uh, some pussy ass problems. I'm trying to yeah, set it up, B. Coford. Let me talk. Let him talk. <laughs> B. Coford. B. Coford. Be Jesus Christ on a cracker. <laughs> uh, 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 we're trying to do some legit advice. This is 100% advice. So please give us your problem. Okay. Yeah, my problem is uh, every time I cuss, I make this weird noise instead. It's It's annoying what the what can i do about it have you, i'm sorry collier it sounds like you've got some electrical interference yeah uh, Wait, uh, I, 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 so every time you try to curse you make a noise yeah it's really annoying <laughs> are, are you doing a bit did you call in are you trolling us right now no 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 he's got look i i said we were given 100 percent advice all yeah. right mm -hmm. yeah so here we go this is 100 percent advice uh caller uh, uh 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 have you been around tipper gore <laughs> uh, wow! But it, that that'll, that'll play great for the over forty-five crowd. I, know, I get that reference. <laughs> like I tell you what, all all the Gen X folks busted a nut with that <laughs> one. All three dicks fell out of their pockets. <laughs> oh shit! I have no dicks. <laughs> Uh, 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 all right, yeah, B. Coford, uh, good bit. Okay, uh, hang up on him. All right, um, yeah. Thank you very much, B. Coford. Uh, next up, we're going to invite uh, Kyle I. Kyle I, uh, we're, we're going to invite you up to speak and uh, send Kyle I, letters. the world's fastest guest. Ba -ba the world's fastest guest. Ba -ba Ooh, Ooh data, my Kyle, Kyle I. I. Oh, all right, Kyle I, hello. You're connected with us. Hello. Hey. Oh, I thought he hung up on us. Yeah, hey, wait, wait, wait. what's up, up, man? This is 100% legit <laughs> fucking advice. Yeah, wall 100% playing to legit This is legit, level. a legit We're advice, ready. legit games. Nobody can fucking touch us. We're doing this shit like no one's ever done it. What What do you need? What's your problem? What? Why is your life fucked? <laughs> <laughs> so many reasons, but uh, you, you, you said the magic words Hearthstone. Yeah. Yep. Yes, that's one word. <laughs> Do I pre-order the new set considering the news at Blizzard last week? I'm not familiar with what you're talking about. Yeah, dude, we, we ain't never <laughs> we ain't never heard of Blizzard. We yeah. ain't never heard of Activision. Yeah. What's up? Uh, uh, or the state of California, or laws that are allowed with collective yeah, sign uh, action. Uh, so, uh, 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 send, never heard of send, it. Send all your messages about, out to yeah. the internet. Fucking bother Scott Johnson with that shit. All right, before we bring on our next caller, how are we doing in this game, Brian? I'm seeing that you have 27 health. They have 22. Yeah, uh, the thing about uh, demon hunters is they're always hunting demons. Um, <laughs> My mom was always saying that yeah they're always they're always trying to hit you real hard and then you get mad at... mama don't let your hunters grow up to hunt demons <laughs> uh do we have another caller bryce oh, we do we've got sign on the line sign hello yo what's going on guys hey you know? look number one we've had two callers yep one was going into business for themselves yep. and doing a goddamn bit Yep. The other wanted to just bother us about some obviously fucking awkward shit that we're trying to avoid on a comedy show. <laughs> right. So what I really want is for you to just actually ask us for advice so you can set an example for everybody else that might call in so they can know that legitimately this is the bit that we w uh, we will give advice and Brian will play good Hearthstone. Right. Also, if you have a time machine, go back and tell me in eighth grade that in the future I'll be old playing Hearthstone talking about how I have three dicks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so legitimately, what advice do you have for someone that's trying to build a new show on like Twitch? Because you guys have kind of mastered that and you just kind of like go away for a few months and then come back and then just have like pure gold. So how do I tap into that energy? <laughs> well, if you want to go away for a few months and then come back with pure gold, then 
Uh, it would help to do it previously for 10 years. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. I think having having a decade's worth of experience gives you the privilege to leave for a few months and then and then come back. Uh, 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 beyond that, the biggest thing that I would tell to everybody is continue to be uh, uh, bad, which is which is advice that that Brian has always had. And, sure. And also uh, uh, listen to what's good. Like, like, try, try to always be, have the bravery to throw everything out there, but the the discipline to understand what's working and what's not working, and don't fall too in love with your own ideas. Understand that success is really a marriage between your ideas and the audience's uh, and, ability and to accept it. Not to go all Jack socks on this, uh, but but <laughs> uh, uh, practice being a good guest on other people's programs because there's no faster way to build your own audience than by yeah. being the best guest on other people's programs. Take it from us, two people who appeared a lot on a network uh, and then got a show on the network and then left the network and went independent and everything went great ever after. Yeah, look, uh, we eventually got three months off. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Thank you very much, Sign, for uh, for the question. Uh, let's see. We did have another request here, but I believe I'm going to invite them up anyway. Uh, you can just keep your request in on uh, if you make a request. In. All right, we've got a, uh, another caller here on stage. Uh, it's one ipoopmypants.com. I love ipoopmypants.com. I met ipoopmypants.com in New York City. I literally just put my pants in the game. You lost. Oh, you no, lost. Got no, 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 we got it. We got it. Yeah. We, 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 we're we're okay. going to get back. We're going to get right, back. We got it back. I put we'll, my we'll pants.com, yep, 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 brother. Yep. What's going on, fam? I believe you're muted. I put my pants.com. So if you're trying to talk, no, there we go. You, you have, hello. No, He's hello, silent hello, but deadly. Hello. Right now. By the way, you have no idea. Yeah, I'm, I'm, at, I'm, I'm, at a, I'm at a bar in New York City. This happened a few weeks ago. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm meeting people for this meetup. And uh, uh, this guy walks in and he shakes my hand and he tells me his real name. And I'm like, oh man, cool, cool. And then he's like, I poop my pants, not cop. And I just yell for the entire bar to hear, <laughs> I poop my pants, not cop. What an amazing moment. Uh, burned in my memory forever. Uh, I poop my pants, not cop. What's on your mind? Again, really, with nothing. Silent but deadly, man. I thought I heard him. Uh, 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 he's still here. He did. Hello. I complimented. I, did, did did you have a question for us? I put my pants dot com because we cannot hear you. It's a great bit. All <laughs> right. Thank you. Just uh uh uh. Ooh. Hello. No. Okay. I'll, I'll, right. I'll move you to the audience and you can come back next time. But again, one more time. Uh, Discord dot great night dot TV is uh uh the website where you can join us in our Discord server for right, the so, next time. So so you are looking at a mirror match here. Do you think it's the same deck or? Uh, no, as a matter of fact, I, I, I switched things up. I didn't. I, I, I switched from the deck that you and I are playing to this one. Um, it's straight up, like in a Merc move, I was like, what is working this minute? Yeah. <laughs> and and I, I full on. And so now you're going more aggro because the, the, the deck that me and you are playing is, is an aggro deck that has a little bit of a mid range game. And, and this one that you're playing is straight up. If you're not hitting face, you ain't, you ain't going to win. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, I actually uh, have a question, Bryce. Okay. Uh, uh, when it comes oh. to like um, uh, right stuff on on getting booted off of Twitch, uh, uh, I, I know they got the karaoke game. So they actually got uh, rid of that game. They did. God damn it! Because God of damn DMCA. It. God yeah. damn it! Fuck! Yeah. Fuck! Fuck! You know, a lot of people right. in the community agree. How are we gonna play Hall and Oates with? Mm, uh, we'll figure it out next time. We do have a call from uh, from one Von Hungtain. Von Hungtain, can you hear us? Hello. I was going to say, isn't there supposed to be music with this bit? But, yeah. You know, whatever. Listen. Hey, even, MVP, even like the My Dick Band version of the song. Uh, well, that's, yeah, that that's what I was wondering was like, like we got away with that for a long time, but I guess huh. Twitch is is finally cracking down uh, they're, they're on, on, on our heads. Do, oh, uh, oh, do oh. not attribute to the law uh, what you can attribute to me not having enough time to set up. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 old Jeffy Bezos is like, you don't get the space playing unlicensed music. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Uh, Von Hungtate, we're just about out of time for this bit. Did you have a question? 
Uh, no, screw Ted Switch. God damn it. Okay, thank you, Von Hunt. You gotta at least put. Can we get one good relationship fucking question? Does anybody have like one question, game? please? We do. Yeah, we do. Because this was originally relationship advice, and so uh, 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 I know all y'all motherfuckers aren't swimming in pussy and dick. So fucking wow. Come yeah. on in here. So, all right, you only got... have one dick instead of three or eight. Or mm. uh, we've got uh, another caller here. Caller, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Um, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Hello. What's up? Hello. What's yeah, up? This is this is I put my pants dot com. Hey! Land a bit. Yeah, I got myself. I got myself in a bit of a predicament. Oh, um, okay. My partner. Your partner? What? I swear to God, it, <laughs> this the is troll is the best the troll best ever. <laughs> That's so bad. fucking good. We have that's like what? next level. That's like uh Mr. President, Mr. President, uh New York Times, yes. <laughs> France. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, I put my All right, let's see, uh let's see if Ren Iku can uh, take us home. <laughs> uh, a wise man named Tom Merritt once told me that you get the chat room you deserve. Yeah. <laughs> And <laughs> ten years. Yeah. We ten got years him. and two dicks later. <laughs> ten, years and, yeah. ten years and two pocket dicks uh, behind us. All right, I, well, I've got a question. Since uh, since this is all out on Front Street, I uh, I guess I'm I'm newly single yet again. Yeah. Uh, uh, what? How does that make you feel? <laughs> Insecure. <laughs> Insecure. <laughs> like yeah. That's right. What's the opposite of confident? Um, but 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 you but you you shattered this fucker's life like like you know like like you didn't get that bomb dropped on you. Listeners to the pre-show will know um, the bad day that I made worse by breaking up with yeah. a, a boy last night. No, week. but that, 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 that at least look if you're gonna not be in a relationship, at least you exit with power, right? Like even even temporary power. Uh, that's true, and and uh, you know it was kind of a uh, an imbalanced relationship. He's very go with the flow, a very go with the flow type of Hippie. person. And and you have to kind of rein that in that person. You kind of have to wrangle that type of person sometimes. Yeah. And I, uh, uh oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Turns out no. giving relationship advice and trying to be funny and also trying to hit legend all at the same time on mobile, a little bit trickier. Harder, than, harder. No, no, uh, uh, I think I think uh, I think maybe that. Uh, I think right. we're I think we're out of time. For we're gonna, screw I this game. This game's no, bad. No, 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 no. We, we we're, we're we're gonna finish the price. Oh, okay. All right. Yes. Uh, 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 I forgot what I was saying, but I, I, I uh, oh, it, it's a, with someone who's very like, oh, you know, whatever, we'll just, it'll be whatever. And I'm yeah. a very like planner type of person. I want to yeah. like pick a day and a time and I want to be in communication. And so it was a little bit of soft power to be like, you know what? I'm breaking up with you because of this exact thing. I'm planning out, uh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's a wrap, my guy. Yeah, basically. Um, so, 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 how does one say, "I'm too awesome for you"? Wow. Uh, uh, and and there's do a me certain... a favor. <laughs> do me a favor. Use their first and last name. <laughs> <laughs> and please I, do it in the 1920s voice. <laughs> uh, I I think uh, despite two dates, I could not tell you his last name. But um, Ooh, oh <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> you know, I, I like it brutal. It is better than the guy who had my same last name. <laughs> oh, I dated someone who had the same last name as me. I dated a Castillo. I did that. I did that. You dated a young. I dated a young. Whoa. I dated a young, but she was both Korean and adopted by Mormons. Uh, so she had every, she had two possible ways she could get the oh, last like name. Oh, like Brigham Young. young. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, mm. uh, uh, although uh, we were dating, uh, she was working as a photographer at the, at the newspaper that I was working at. And uh, she was out on a trip to cover a game with a guy who I will not name, but has since won a Pulitzer Prize. Is his name old? <laughs> <God>. <laughs> uh, but he legit, and she swears that he was being serious when he asked, when he asked that me and this small Korean girl, <laughs> uh, hey, so you both named Young. She's like, yes. You related? <laughs> <laughs> Man went on to win a Pulitzer Prize. Wow. Probably wasn't. I, uh, he asked uh, the hard questions. He did. I'll tell you, you want to know what? I never thought of it like that. Yeah. Absolutely. In, in my life. Cheers to you. I almost said his name. In my life, uh, three times, I have hooked up with a girl whose last name was Brushwood. 
Whoa. Okay. Kind of a kind of a rare name. Yeah. Yeah. I'm waiting uh, for the punchline here. Led to Cali, Josie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> but there's, there's a certain. Right, fuck all y'all. I got three dicks now. <laughs> And two less stars. <laughs> <laughs> but there's, you have to like do office speak when you write a breakup. If you're not, if it's not mean and you're just Wait, like you, fuck. You up. broke up on text. E- yes, because he wouldn't. He didn't text oh, me back. Oh, hold on, hold on, oh, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, Maybe it's, it's like, Bryce <laughs> Castillo. All caps. Uh, text wide communication. R E colon our relationship. <laughs> 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 we were texting that day. That was how we set up plans that he blew off. Like, I have, listen, I'm not going to sing anybody no, 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 out no, no. in this that, one that person is, thread. That is justifiable homicide. If, 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 <laughs> if, if you are, if you, if you are trying to make plans and he's blowing you off, then mm. it's like, no. Also, go fuck yourself. Here's here's the 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 the, the bullet in your head yeah. on on this relationship. <laughs> wow. uh, but I would say so. So, what was your actual question? Because we keep digging into the the, the preamble. Oh, uh, 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 why? Why? Why uh, can't uh, I? Can't, what, I can't what's up, buddy? Then, but I. <laughs> what up with that? Uh, no, no, I I am having trouble committing. I think I don't know. That's yeah. not trouble committing. No. Wait, 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 wow. wait, what you just described is not trouble committing. What what you just described is something that, and uh, this is an actual private conversation that I've had with Bryce. Uh, <laughs> You need to stop dating fucking baristas, and I don't mean that. <laughs> no, that's re- that's he that's, likes his coffee. That's I, don't, real I, don't, I don't mean that. I don't mean that in in the sense of people that work in in a coffee place. I mean the spiritual barista, the motherfucker uh-huh. that always winds up working at at, at at the barista, whether or not whatever they're doing. What I need, and this is now, I'm right, just basically like, being like, a like, fucking like, in, in general, like, yeah, yeah. I need only very nice, <laughs> professional boys to talk to Bryce. <laughs> and that's it. That's all that happens. If you are a graphic designer and you, <laughs> and you like Bryce, yeah. then please give him okay. an email. So, so, be so very nice to you. Uh, would, would it be a fair summary to say that the heuristic should be never date somebody who hands you something you want and also looks you in the eye? <laughs> Basically, <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah, no okay, bartenders. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, like never, you, you, you have never, bartenders, never baristas, yeah. uh, the Amazon Prime guy, mm-hmm, the, mm-hmm, across mm-hmm. the board, right? If he's giving you something you want, Jamba Juice. Okay. Well, yeah. here, here's 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 actually the reality, Bryce. Uh, uh, also, you... Uh, he was a bartender. <laughs> <laughs> just just a reverse barista. Exactly. Makes you very sleepy. Uh, the 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 reality, I think, Bryce, is that. You have to realize that you are more of a creative than you think you are. Mm. And so if you are, if the creative is the one keeping the plans, you've got an unbalanced fucking relationship. <laughs> like, that will never work. That's like, two people very... that don't give a shit about the fucking plans, <laughs> like, never going to be a thing. And so you are a overachiever for a creative in terms of keeping the plans you uh, and, and, and planning shit out. But you need somebody who's going to be like, hey, no, you should get out of bed right now. Yeah. Sorry. Wow, that escalated very quickly. Uh, We're wait, doing wait, advice. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. advice. All right, yeah. all right, all right. All right. Uh, th- well, thank you for the advice. That was that was uh, very helpful. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We learned yeah. something today. We, yeah, we we grew. I do feel like we learned something today. What did we learn? Uh, what did we, learn? we learned that Jack socks are <laughs> the hardest socks. <laughs> Especially <laughs> later. The Jack socks <laughs> are the hardest. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh God, man! I, now I just want to write a song for Bryce about with relationship advice. Maybe that would that, be an after go? show. Well, it, it would go. Uh, <clears throat> Bryce, don't look him in the eyes. He's handing you some lies <laughs> in that mocha china eyes, Bryce. Look him in the eyes. His heart is full of lies. Your creative tell him to get out of bed tonight. Right. 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 Don't, Don't look, look him in the eyes. His heart is full of lies. lies. Behind the mocha china eyes. <laughs> no baristas for bride. Don't look him in the eyes. His heart is full.
full of lies. Behind the Mokajina eyes. Shine on, you crazy diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a great night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you to our great live crowd. Uh, thank you to Brett, our announcer. Thank you to the uh, amazing uh, to the and live impeccable audience, yeah. Bryce Castillo. We'll see to you next time. one participant in our fucking bit. <laughs> also, thank you to God for giving me three dicks. Yay! Three dicks. motherfucking great night. Just to my friend, the pain never ends the moment you walk away. Slamming my fingers in a door repeatedly feels just the same. Oh, gray night. You keep me alive. You have. No, there's never been a greater night, a single bed, a later night, a pause, the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, great night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>